Hi, this is Florian Humpenöder. I'm a PhD student at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Germany. I invite you to watch this short video abstract for a study that investigates afforestation and bioenergy CCS as climate change mitigation strategies. The motivation of this study is that afforestation and bioenergy of carbon capture and storage are likely to play a key role for achieving ambitious climate targets, such as the 2 degree target. In this study, we use the model of agriculture production and its impact on the environment, MAGPIE, to assess the potentials and trade-offs of afforestation and bioenergy CCS for the first time with a common methodological approach. MAGPIE is a partial equilibrium model of the agriculture sector with recursive dynamic optimization and the objective function of cost minimization. Therefore, a tax on CO2 emissions from land use change provides an incentive for carbon dioxide removal. The CO2 price trajectory in our study is aimed at ambitious climate change mitigation. If the revenues outweigh the costs associated with land-based carbon dioxide removal, the model has an economic incentive to deploy afforestation or bioenergy CCS as mitigation strategies. We investigate four scenarios. A business as usual scenario without carbon tax and carbon dioxide removal option, an afforestation only scenario, a bioenergy CCS only scenario, and the combination of both. In general, we find that land demand for afforestation is much higher compared to bioenergy CCS. Large-scale land-based mitigation would require considerable productivity increases in the agriculture sector. Afforestation, which in our model is a managed or assisted regrowth of natural vegetation, predominantly takes place in Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, China, Europe and the USA. In the business-as-usual scenario, cumulative carbon emissions throughout a century are positive, while they are negative in the climate policy scenarios. Afforestation emerges as cost-efficient strategy for carbon removal at relatively low carbon prices, while bioenergy CCS becomes competitive only at higher prices. According to our results, cumulative carbon removal due to afforestation and bioenergy CCS is similar at the end of the 21st century, ranging between 600 and 700 gigatons CO2. In the combined setting, cumulative carbon emissions amount to 1000 gigatons CO2, which indicates that afforestation and bioenergy CCS compete for land. However, our results suggest that early century afforestation presumably will not negatively impact the long-term potential of bioenergy CCS. A sensitivity study analysis shows that land-based mitigation is very sensitive to different levels of greenhouse gas taxes. 